They told me about the pipeline back in those days. Told me, did you see a pipeline that was replaced by those elders back in those days? They used to work. And they showed me the pipeline, which way it goes to the diary. They used to use old dynamite, blow them under. Uh, Used to be limestone on the ground. Get rid of those limestone. All the way along to Pink River, where Kupulia down to Kupulia Way, Kibon, uh, Kupulia, all the way along to Eight Mile, Sundari Cook. They show me that pipeline, which way the direction that goes to the main tank, water tank. 
that put the damage back. Opposite out, you're okay. This is the first time I've been here in like probably over 30 years, so it's a bit different, a bit, yeah, kind of a bit emotional as well, like just having all the memories hit me as well. And just being back here, I think it's, it's good for me spiritually and mentally, like just to have that feeling of being back home and just having that memories hit me again of everything that I did as a young kid with my brothers and sisters and, you know, with my grandmother. It was a good feeling, like, I guess every time I come out to Hemingsburg, it's a really good feeling, because this is where I grew up and everything I knew, like, what, I, what my culture, language, it all come from here. Being out here, I think that's a, the best thing you can do as a child is be out here on your country and learn everything that you can, and then you're sort of passing that knowledge down onto your own kids, which is, what we're doing now as a family, so I guess it's it's up to them to continue coming out here and learning more about their law, culture, knowledge, language, which is what they're doing. I think this is where they would, um, the pastor, the minister would probably stand up here and do his reading, his um, prayers, and I guess just addressing the congregation, like, you know, families would sit all around, I guess around here and just listen and I think um, and a lot of the kids would come and get baptised so my youngest brother Charlie he was baptised here so he would have been the only one in our family that was baptised here I was baptised in the church at Hermansburg so yeah I guess we're the only two that have probably been baptised out here because living water in, living waters in in Arada is quite etata so it's like living water, so it's just continuous with the water. And it's, I think it's just, I think it's um, because, because Hemersburg is, has a such strong um, Lutheran community, um, they believe that Ningarisu, which is Jesus, gave them the water um, because back in the day it was, um, like drought and um, there was not much food, like they were rationed with foods and everything. Um, yeah, so then the story of that, then the water, the, there's a water tap at near the old church, which is known as to us as holy water. So it's really refreshing and you drink it, you wash your face, you feel better. So a lot of people go there just to get the water, just to clean themselves and yeah, make themselves feel better. In the really early days, like before he started painting, he would have worked on those carvings um, until Rex Batterby introduced him to the paints. So really, his first art was those carvings and drawings, sketchings and stuff like that. So I guess it was really important to, you know, to acknowledge Albert in a way of him beginning that sort of artful out here I guess yeah a lot of the women I suppose they did a lot of the doing sewings and things like that material work so his would have been the boomerangs and the carvings and yeah and probably a lot of the leather work works with some of the other men Nunagandala <laughs> Quite a 
ngari abare ngara le la ngaram doran da mamanga ka dare la nel kwaje la nel eta ta ngaje ka al sera la kwaje nda ka ko belia kwaje la nda ka nona le le ngara ka ngare bara ka de jalla ka tangel jo ka al sera ko da ta nanga saradey kalingar ko re re ja ha na dengar ko idna ja ja re re anda ay wenyen na ja ja tiri boy era kona minri era ale kala re lingar ga an gonga tela irandro ra ja ja na ja kamale ja ko le ma ba kala ko brilliant tai ko na anda la ja ja ಆಲ್ರೋಲ್ಲಂಗಲ್ಲ <laughs> ಚಿಂದೋರ <laughs>
This place is important to me because in the years that we came here, as a little girl, this always was important for all the family members and for all the tribe at Hermansburg, for the community. And even though we lived a long way from Hermansburg, over these hills around in Timby Down Station, we used to come here just to celebrate this Thanksgiving Day and to visit and get to see all the family members that wasn't seen for years and years or something like that. But this place got us all to be together and celebrating the Thanksgiving was a very special day for everyone, for the community. Yeah, I can, that was when we used to get woken up by all the council mob. Everybody get up, it's Cooperilla Day, old Teddy, Teddy boy and Undu Arvin. Sorry about the mob, come a little jar to win. Nang Ingrigan. Are you Teddy boy, Mabel? Bruno. All them old men, they used to be the, in the council and they used to go around in the truck to wake everyone up. It's Kuburilla Day, everybody jump on. So we children all jumped in with our families, that was. And we all came in the truck because they made a few trips from the community to bring everyone in. In those days there were no trucks or anything like that for people. Uh, some use their horses and camels to come in. And some, oh, well, the young, they usually walked. And that was it. And me, I was always on the truck with parents. And when we got here, we just run amok, you know, climbing the hills and all that, until the service and then after that, it was the lunch. After lunch, it was the races then for everyone. And everything, everybody enjoyed themselves. End of day, everybody went home. And that was it. Cobrilla mm. always will be the Thanksgiving day that we enjoyed when we were kids. And we had the respect for Every elder that was here, all our elders, we respected them. And as we all grew up, it, anyone in the community was a family, you know. We just went by skin name to call them grandmother or something like that. It always meant that that person was that to you.